Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Hianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of the twin and twin and twins, ninja. So if you in any way at all identify as a divine feminine or a divine masculine, honey, then this reading is for you, all right? Let us go ahead and jump straight into it. Spirit keeps talking to me about twins who are just now meeting each other, okay, or who recently met, okay? So take it however you want. Take it, honey. Maybe you recently met this person and it's some familiarity there and you're like, okay, I know you, but I don't know you from this lifetime. Why does this feel so familiar, okay? Um, it's some sort of attraction. Um, magnetic pull between you and this person you can't necessarily explain it neither can they all right but it seems like okay that's what we're talking about or that's one of the things I'm feeling here we have trigger okay so somebody is triggered right now or has been triggered to go within to heal all right they're um, in solitude or in isolation okay which is basically the same thing somebody's been broken open okay this person feels like they are broken they are beyond repair you cannot fix them your love cannot fix them nobody can do nothing for them honey all right they are broken they are lost that's how they feel um this person maybe struggles with depression okay um but at this moment the way you make them feel is vulnerable open um you get what i'm saying triggered it, it reminds them of certain things because when you come in contact with your twin yes they triggered you um to heal you get what i'm saying to become better so i don't know maybe this person feels like they're not up for the challenge all right so we have here a snack sexual tension irresistible wanting more but they are constantly drawn back to you okay so this energy keeps coming out for all of the twins i mean of course if it's your true divine counterpart you're going to be drawn back to that person okay now be mindful and weary of false twin flames you know because they exist but this this is different okay you and your twin are always going to be drawn back to each other and it's really not any like um terrible blood there so you know that that feels more karmic or or false car, uh flame or something but here but with real flames there's not all of that extra bad blood and all that shit going on so i don't really feel that i feel like this person is just staying to themselves right now because they've been triggered to heal you get what i'm saying um for some of you this is just a sidebar some of you sex okay sex something about sex okay so your sex could be healing or your sex could have triggered this person or i don't know something okay something triggered this person all right yeah where they were just used to doing it you get what i'm saying like like i said this is somebody who feels like they are broken beyond repair so it just gives the energy of you know they just out here pers promiscuous that's what guys can be too all right males can be hoes as well let's be very clear i feel like this is a male hoe okay somebody who just be out here but they feel deeper stronger things for you and that's something maybe they're not used to you get what i'm saying you guys are in sync yeah and chosen one so like they were probably treating you initially or they went into it with the idea or plan of treating you like everybody else you get what i'm saying but now they find themselves wanting to offer you this you know they, they find themselves wanting to be loyal to you wanting to offer you higher commitment seeing you as somebody that's solid or somebody they can have something solid with okay so that's really interesting how that all came out together like that you get what i'm saying like this person thought they were going to just treat it like any old thing but they realized oh shoot you one of a kind you're not like everybody else you get what i'm saying or something along those lines okay so underline of energy here like i said on lock they want to offer you something let's get some messages of love here let us see we got go slow yeah take your time all right um get to know each other you don't have to rush into anything okay some people feel like i want to test drive the car before i purchase it i feel you, you feel what I'm saying? um some people feel they want to test drive the car before they purchase it shit you don't want to buy the car did not like it and have all type of issues with it and shit now if you would have went on that test drive then you would have known if you like it or not you get what i'm saying so that's all i think about but yeah we got chemistry and we have new love yeah so it says a new love or recommitment to love is developing chemistry the attraction you feel is mutual exactly so the pull that y'all feel to each other the feelings you have for each other is mutual it's not just a sex thing it's not just a booty call it's not just none of that you get what i'm saying both of you guys feel the energy that's there um with in sync okay y'all in sync with each other what's underneath this we have risk it all okay so somebody is like yeah i'm a player but i'm willing to like hang that up you get what i'm saying i'm willing to hang that up you know to come in and try something different for you feminine you get what i'm saying i'm ready to try something different for you okay 
So you make this person want to be better balanced. Okay. One person is giving too much in the relationship. Um, so at this time, like I said, just kind of fall back a little bit. Let them do what they need to do for them. You get what I'm saying? Um, you continue to do what you need to do for you, but right here, passion, try something you've never done before. Put your passion into other things. Okay. Um, try some creative projects that maybe you've been wanting to try for the longest. Y'all know I'm always here for that shit. Okay. Um, and then we have denial. All right. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Detach for a little bit okay i feel like that's kind of what they're doing maybe uh denial is them trying to deny the feelings all right and then regret like i said they could have treated you like you weren't nothing like it was just this it was just that but now they're starting to feel other things or realize something deeper is there there's a, a more intense connection or something and they regret you know their initial intentions okay because you know intentions are everything so intentions set the tone for how things are going to go and I feel like maybe they set the wrong tone. You get what I'm saying? And that's something that you can't necessarily take back. But they're trying to like leave some space and time in between so that they can get better and come back and set a different tone. You get what I'm saying? Type of energy. Okay. So let us see here. We have different pages. Yeah, because I'm getting, yeah, integrity. You are somebody who has morals, values, respect for yourself. You get what I'm saying? They treated you like something else it just keeps coming out like that different pages you and this person didn't share the same vision or what they were trying to do and what they were out here doing was playing the field sleeping around having fun and you on the other hand maybe weren't you get what i'm saying or if you were you weren't doing that with them okay so it's something here along those lines y'all all right we have true love yeah and then they realize like i said oh shit this is true love this is not what the intentions was but that's usually how love finds you, right? When you're really not looking for it, you feel me? You, you're not looking for it at all. You're minding your business, and then boop, there it goes. Out of nowhere, okay? We have soulmate. So, yeah, your soulmate love accepts and respects you. You see what I'm saying? So, they love you as you are, respect you as you are, um, accept you as you are. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's true love. It, you don't have to, some of you could have thought like, oh, we're on different pages. Maybe they're not impressed with me because you haven't heard from them or because you haven't seen them or because you know what I'm saying? It could be anything like that. No, the person loves you deeply, but once again, they feel like they're broken beyond repair and a broken person that sees you as someone who's out here going against the grain. You're chosen. You're enlightening others. You're a very vibrant light soul. You get what I'm saying? But they feel like they're broken. They they want to put that with, with your light? No. That's, you know what I mean? So they're trying to heal themselves or do something along those lines prior to coming your way. But that's exactly what they want. See, vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. Okay? So maybe you being open with them is encouraging them to want to do the same, to want to be open with you. Or maybe they realize like, oh, shoot, you know, you were being vulnerable. You were being yourself. Um, with these makeup brushes, they could have thought that maybe you were, um, I don't know. They could have thought you was just saying and doing certain things to try to get them to like you. You get what I'm saying? Like them pick Misha's or something. You get what I'm saying? But I don't think so. I thought you were just being vulnerable. Yeah, you were just being completely open with the person just being yourself. That's it. Awakening. Yeah, so someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. It's like you've triggered this person to go within and do the necessary work that's how it keeps coming out okay we got 11 11 guilt yeah so they feel bad for not having seen or realized something sooner but here's my message to the masculines okay who feel this way what are you feeling guilty for you know everything happens the way that it's meant to right so that's just how i'm gonna go with that yeah we have obstacles all right it says look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness okay you're going to continue to beat yourself up for what you wish you would have knew and how you wish you would have did things differently or are you going to do things differently now? Yeah, see, twin flame, awakening, twin flame. Now they're realizing you're their twin flame. This is a past life love that is more than just, you know, sex or whatever or, or passion or desire. No, they're longing for you. You get what I'm saying? You guys also play and have a great time. They're realizing this is a faded connection, something that can be stable. Notice all of these cards are like all positive. But spirit just keeps saying the same thing. Go slow. Take your time. Get to know each other. You get what I'm saying? Um, learn about each other's childhoods. You get what I'm saying? What are your favorites? What do you dislike? You get what I'm saying? All of that. Um, who's your most or least favorite person? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit like that. Like just simple things. Get to know each other. 
All right, what color you like? What color you feel like you don't look good in? You get what I'm saying? Just random things. You get what I'm saying? And you're like, damn, that's the basics. Yes, go back to the basics. Start at the basics. You get what I'm saying? That could be another thing this card is saying. You get what I'm saying? So let's see. We have recognition. Like I said, twin flame recognition. Okay, so it says the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. So they're seeing them. They're getting them. They're, they're understanding, which is actually why a lot of them have been silent. We have spiritual, okay? So your spiritual journey is beginning. They're going on the, they're like they taking the first few steps. You get what I'm saying? So can't really rush this process, y'all. Y'all just have to let it take place. We have dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. So yeah, it's like this twin flame couple. Oh, it's about to get litty for this group. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm gonna clear the board and we're gonna get into the tarot. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the tarot, y'all. See what messages we have coming through for the twins. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages? Fear is holding somebody back from stepping into their destiny. Someone is, like I said, going on a spiritual quest of self-fulfillment. Once they realize what it is that they want, what it is that they truly desire, they will communicate with you and you guys will be coming back into reunion or back into union. Okay. Reuniting. We have five of cups yeah this person is thinking about the past how they lied to you how they may have cheated okay they betray your trust in some way they like wow you really love me and i lied to you you really love me and i played you okay or you really love me and i fumbled you or something like that we have ten of swords yeah they're thinking about how they betrayed you in the past all right how they may have abandoned you or abandoned the situation um or this is what they're doing now. Like I said, Eight of Cups going on a spiritual quest because of what they did in the past and how they treated you. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. They abandoned you. They rejected you or something. And it was something that was uh, public. Six of Wands. Okay, so let us see. We have here the Three of Swords. Yeah, so now the pain that this person has caused you is causing them a lot of pain, a lot of grief, a lot of sadness. This is why they have to go within prior to communicating, prior to expressing anything. They have to go on a spiritual quest. We have the food card here, but there's a brand new beginning coming or a fresh start here. Like I said, for some of you, this feels like a newer person. You get what I'm saying? For others of you, this could be a past person that you're about to have a new beginning with. But take it however you need to take it. Put yourself wherever you go. We do have the six of wands. Okay, so this person, when they think of you, they, they think about um, bringing things to awareness or speaking their truth. Okay, um, they know that this is something maybe you've been waiting on. Okay, you've been waiting on them to tell you the truth or you've been waiting on something. Okay, and the Six of Cups is like, a, like I said, past life relationship. So in other words, this person knows that you know or they feel like you know or you always knew or something like that. But now they're, now they're aware or something. Okay, we're going to see when we go around this board one more time. But Twin Flame Recognition was the subject. We've seen that in the reading too with that recognition card. So... Let us see. We have the Six of Pentacles. Now this person wants to give and take with you equally or they see you as an equal. Page of Wands. Yeah, this is the good news that you are going to be receiving. This person wants to talk and they have a lot that they want to say. Like a lot. You get what I'm saying? This is something maybe they've been thinking about for a while. The Four of Swords is here, okay? This is going to bring you peace after the heartache. You get what I'm saying? Them saying whatever this truth is. Okay, the hangman is like freeing you and allowing you to move forward or allowing you to move on. Removing any blocks within the connection and allowing the two of you to move on. Okay. We have the seven of wands. So somebody coming in and fighting for you, fighting for the connection. Now, I don't mean literally. You get what I'm saying? For some of you, maybe, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, there's a karmic situation or karmic cycle that's coming to an end here. Okay. You guys are about to go to the next level. This person is ready to take accountability for their role in the situation. All right. I just heard protect, provide. They know that you love them. Okay. They could be a fire sign. You could be a water sign. They could have fire sign placements. You water sign placements. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. But like I said, if you haven't heard from this person, or they kind of went ghost to hermit. This is why nine of swords, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. Okay. Um, also, a lot of them working. You get what I'm saying? Some of them could have just started brand new businesses. Um, some of them could have also just found out they have child or children on the way. Okay. But this person loves you very deeply. All right. Like they feel a very soul um, depth. You get what I'm saying? Like deep, deep, deep in their soul type of love for you. Judgment here going through, like I said, spiritual awakening. Okay. So let us see. 
we have the eight of wands so yeah this person feels like um once they come to you and express these truths they feel like things are going to progress very quickly and i feel like they're right you get what i'm saying yeah we have the king of pentacles so not only do they want to come through like i said take accountability be responsible for themselves and maybe even consider you to be a responsibility of theirs like they feel like you're their responsibility they have to make sure they contribute to your happiness they have to make sure that they contribute to you being fly they have to make sure they contribute to you get what i'm saying your health you get what i'm saying they just want to make sure that they're a positive factor in your life okay then the king of pentacles is, is zaddy that's somebody that's like all right what bill you need me to pay okay put this towards your student loans you get what i'm saying okay um pay this off put this towards your credit card you get what i'm saying or oh, whatever the freaking case may be here go my credit card shit you know but with justice here like i said a lot of them went ghosts to close out or handle karmic situations a lot of them also too have a lot of karmic debt um like uh legal debts and fees and shit like that i just heard too okay or actual karmic debt with like relationships and people and shit all right but we have the five of cups here let us see all right five of cups we have the queen of swords yeah so they know from whatever they did, they could have kept something from you. They could have hid their feelings from you. Because of that, you decided to move forward. They feel like this is what you're going to do. Like, they don't have much time before they have to, like, speak up and say something or do something. You get what I'm saying? But once again, divine time and don't rush them. We have the ten of swords here, the six of cups. Okay, so this is, like I said, past life relationship or... Uh, this is child children childhood past life relationships so it could be child to children for some of you maybe you have child to children that was a the reason they decided you know what i'm good you get what i'm saying they could have had child to children like i said could be a reason why they decided you know what i'm good um it could also be they were very immature and childish you get what i'm saying like i said out here playboying you get what i'm saying play girling whichever one it was yeah uh, wrapped up in a lot of toxic things having a lot of sex being very promiscuous with people a lot of them could have been being paid for sex or paying for sex Who no okay it was a lot going on out here with these people okay um but they had their hands tied and other shit okay basically so let us see the three of swords like i said they caused you a lot of pain or you know what I'm saying? This is what they feel. This is why they know you're in this queen of swords, head over heart. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I love you. My heart was vulnerable. I was open. But because of this heartache, this pain, this betrayal, this grief, this whatever this is, um, now I'm this way. And it's not to say that you're only this way towards a person. It's just how you are now. Like I said, your, your twin flames teach you very valuable lessons, just like your karmics do. But the difference is, you know, your karmics is going to be a very, like, a, it's going to, like you're on a fucking battlefield or something, where your twin is not like that. You know what I'm saying? It makes you better for greater purposes, but it's not like you're on a fucking battlefield. So you see the, you see the difference, okay? So it's like that. You're, you became the queen of swords, yes, but you're also the queen of cups. This person just doesn't know that, I guess. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're going to think logically you're not going to just put your heart out there like that to you see what i'm saying get what three of swords ten of swords that doesn't make any sense so you have to you have to be queen of swords okay so we have the three of swords here what is this yeah the ten of wands in reverse yeah you know what i'm saying i mean like i said battle so it, it doesn't make you feel like you're in a battle you get what i'm saying but in this essence that's how some of you guys felt you get what i'm saying so it's like you you dealt with a masculine who was divine you get what i'm saying and this is giving vibes of like i said with that other reading some weeks ago somebody's masculine got demoted because they treated you like you was just everybody else and you're not and their karma from spirit or their judgment is like this you get what i'm saying now you look at them and view them as a karmic as somebody you can't trust yeah see we got the devil here the seven of swords the page of swords the nine of wands that's how the person is like okay I, i'm broken beyond repair because what the fuck did i do you get what i'm saying it's that type of energy all right so i don't know if you actually do look at them as a karmic or if now in their mind they're like damn i did some karmic shit am i they karmic like yeah but with the seven of cups i feel like for you guys it definitely confused the shit out of you too like damn is this a karmic is this a masculine is this a it confused you because the seven of cups is what you get what i'm saying what the hell now mind you this person is a witch here that's so a mystic you get what i'm saying this is a mystic person so you're very intuitive you knew who it was we had recognition the person was not behaving like a twin they did not do twin flame shit 
they did karmic shit they treated you like like i said like you was regular like you was basic and then they realized oh shoot what did i do i caused some betrayal and heartache to my person now i'm out here being a karmic yeah being stuck in this karmic situation because of how they treated you okay so you got the wheel of fortune here you're at the top of the wheel now they're down here stuck in that karmic situation looking at you like damn you get what i'm saying and that's what i see we got the five of swords here and for a lot of you it was you know friends or people you thought were your friends around you who set this whole shit up like this so it could happen this way um i don't know who needed to hear that that's mad fucking wild but that's what i heard all right so yeah spirit says it's only a matter of time though we got the temperance card which is divine time and we saw the ten of cups now we see the eight of cups so it's only a matter of time this person has to go within they have to go in spiritual quest they have to get right if they're going to continue doing lying cheating and all the stuff they've been doing yes they're going to stay stuck in a karmic cycle that will make them a karmic masculine not a divine masculine so i think they are realizing that and they're trying to get their shit right so we got the six of wands here three of cups yeah this is reunion energy so you guys are reuniting but here's the thing be mindful okay because this person they they might still share obligations and responsibilities with their karmics but because they realize who you are to them and the fact that you really do love them it's like they'll do anything to get back in your good graces so just be mindful of that because they might not be there to stay you get what i'm saying so it might not be timing that's why i said divine timing yeah they love you and all of that good jazz right but at the end of the day it's best that some of you just kind of chill on that. You get what I'm saying? Because they're still not ready. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, they're coming back. But let them do what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? And do time and divine timing. Okay? So, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. All right? Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. We have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, because they're constantly drawn back to you. Temperance. See what I'm saying? Divine timing. So, in divine timing, they will be coming in. They will be standing up for you. They will be doing the right thing. But what's going to help them do that? Realizing they, they want to hold on to you. They don't want you to let go of them. You get what I'm saying? We got the Page of Cups here. All right. What is this? All right. Feels by Kalani. All right. So, yeah, you got them all in their feelings. <laughs> All right, we got them all in their feelings. We got the Eight of Wands here, the Knight of Wands here. So they're going to be coming in, all right, because they want justice to be served. They want things to work out well. They want to go in the direction of their North Node. They want to hold on to you. They have a, a wake-up call here with this Judgment card, go through a spiritual rebirth, a transformation. A lot of them are intuitive as well and starting to really tap into that feminine energy, okay, that High Priestess, Empress energy. All right, so they can be vulnerable and trust their intuition, all right, so this feels really, really nice here, okay? So, hmm, I'm going to pull some of these oracles, and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay, so take that and allow it to resonate with you however you need to. All right, it says if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. All right, we have playfulness. Second time I'm seeing that. All right, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer, okay? And then we have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So like I said, you have somebody who um like right here you may not understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed okay i know i read that fast as hell but there's a reason um because like i was saying i feel like this person has some karmic cycles that are closing out like i said and a lot of them really don't want to close out certain cycles because they're comfortable they're familiar you get what i'm saying um 
And it's like they don't have to work too hard. They don't have to change. They don't have to do the most to become better. They could just stay in their comfort zone and do the same old, same old that they always do. And that's okay. You get what I'm saying? It's like they're not disappointing themselves. They're not disappointing anybody. They're just doing the same old, same old, right? But it's like they're not growing. And that's why. Because they're doing the same old, same old. You understand what I'm saying? So Spirit is advising them against that and telling them what they really need to be doing. Which is like letting whatever falls off, fall off being playful with their feminine getting closer to their feminine um not feeling guilty if they are leaving certain things like i said certain obligations that they might have some some places yeah do what you have to do how you have to do it but feeling guilty for being happy for what be true to yourself or how could you possibly be saying you're true to anybody you're not even true to yourself so this is what we see here coming from spirit it's like they're doing things based on what their mind is telling them to do but we know the devil plays tricks on your mind where spirit speaks to your heart and your heart is telling you what you want to do to the masculines that are listening but they're doing something completely different so like i said you're going through some shifts some cycles all that just let it happen all right so if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe also, you guys, hold on, let me get you some water. Hold on. Also, you guys, <laughs> it's good as hell. I have um, a reading special going on right now, okay? They're usually $111 for 30 minutes. Right now, we get um, 20 minutes up to 30 minutes for 66 bucks, okay? So, you cannot beat that, okay? Trust me, you will not be upset. You will not be disappointed when you book your reading with me, hunty at all okay very blunt very detailed we're not doing that sugar coat and stuff and if you think it's good here on youtube well baby you have no idea all right so i hope i see you guys over there in the one-on-one -on -one sessions to all the new clients i can't wait to meet you guys to all the returning clients hey girl hey hey boy what up all right peace and hair grease <laughs>